friends, it's Lise, and this is my study method. Studying can be a tedious process, and in order to get good grades in school, we need to use effective study techniques that can help us learn and study efficiently. Today, I'll be sharing with you what I do before and during class, mentioning techniques and skills like formulating questions and taking notes. I'm pretty sure you've heard some of these techniques before, but bear with me because I'm showing you how I implement and use these together interconnectively. I'll be also posting another video explaining my studying method after class, so stay tuned for that. Before class, it is important to self-study, to prepare yourself with sufficient knowledge before a lecture or a lesson. Take note that these tips are not sequential and instead are interrelated and work together to create a great study routine. Look at the resources you have, be it PowerPoint slides, lecture notes, a textbook, or even just crash courses online. Use them wisely. Flip through your textbook, scan through those slides. All you really need to do is to look out for the outline of the topic and parts where you have a problem making meaning of. For example, if you see the three blood vessels that make up the system are arteries, veins, and capillaries, and you don't know what arteries or veins are, just jot it down somewhere. If you're someone who likes to be well prepared before a lesson, make quick notes on the topic. This takes around 30 minutes-ish, look at the resources you have and just roughly jot down the main ideas. Make a mind map or a tree diagram, whatever. For example, if my topic is the human circulatory system, I will first jot down the key takeaways, then my main subtopics like the heart, the blood vessels and the blood. Then I will further break them down. For example, for blood vessels, there are three types I've mentioned. You can also add explanation to some foreign terms using my next few methods. I find this extremely important, as I've mentioned before, formulate questions on the topic. If you don't know what double circulation means, for example, jot it down on your notebook, a piece of paper, or even in your computer or phone. Jot it down somewhere and remember to bring it to class and clarify them with the teacher if necessary. Lastly, as Google. Those questions you have can be partially answered by the search engine to allow you to gain a better understanding about a certain concept as you are able to fill the gap of your knowledge. But don't take that explanation so seriously and do still listen in class or during the lecture as your school syllabi can be quite different from what Google gives you, but it is still helpful for your understanding. The very first thing that you should do during a lesson or lecture is to review and ask questions. As the teacher starts teaching, you should refer to your list of questions you've came up with and start taking things off as he or she explains the topic. This ensures that all your doubts are cleared. Meanwhile, you can also start generating questions on what the teacher is talking about. When there are unknown terms he or she mentions, you can raise your hand and raise your doubt or wait until the end of class to ask the teacher. This allows you to have a really clear understanding of what is going on in class and allows you to connect the different pieces of information together. During class, I like to take notes down. You can take notes using your computer, iPad or even just by hand on paper. I personally prefer to take it by hand as you have the freedom to draw diagrams especially during classes like biology. However, if the class is content heavy and the teacher speaks through slides, I would choose to type everything down using my computer and review them when I reach home. When taking information down, use the questions you generated before class as your guidelines or subtopics. Then, whenever the teacher touches on that specific question, you can take notes under that subheader in point form. This helps you to check off your list of questions as mentioned previously. Listen attentively to the teacher as he or she might mention some information that you might not find in the textbook or elsewhere and note it down. If you already created notes beforehand, you can just add a sticky note under that subtopic with the extra information you have taken down so that you have everything you need when revising. That's all for what you should do before and during class for an effective study routine. 
I'll be touching on study tips on what you should do after class very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye!